Welcome to our 2023 Christmas in New York trip. I did end up getting sick, so excuse my nasally voice, but we decided super last minute to book this trip. We haven't been anywhere since New York last year, and we just wanted to get away for the weekend, so I hope you guys enjoy. We made it to New York City. <laughs> we actually had to switch rooms because in the other room, the AC or the heater is making this really, really loud rattling sound. I'll insert the video that AJ took. So don't delete that video. We are at the Westgate Hotel and this room is so much bigger than the previous room. So I'm glad we made the switch. I would not be able to sleep with that noise but it's 9 45 the sounds of the city we're gonna go to sleep we just had some pizza at patsy's and we're exhausted good morning guys it's the next day i woke up sick with a sore throat so aj got me sick i took some cough medicine we will push through today's outfit are my cargos from revolve my ugg dupes I'm gonna see if I can actually walk a lot in these. And then for the top, I had just have a white long sleeve with this scarf that I got from Old Navy and this corduroy Sherpa from Burlington. So we just got a coffee from the downstairs. They serve Starbucks coffee, but it's not like a Starbucks and it's not that great. It's 10 o'clock. I literally overdosed on this last night. Of course, the one vacation we take this year, we are both sick. AJ is on the mend. He is basically not sick anymore, but I just got sick last night. We're gonna go get some breakfast, walk around, and then we're actually meeting Jenna for lunch today. She is in the city. It was not planned at all. You guys know this was super last minute. So we're gonna meet up with her. I'm really excited. This is what the room looks like. Like I said, it's a pretty spacious room. I love the hardwood floors. And then it's super sunny right now, but I'll show you the view later. We have a little desk, and then the bathroom is also really nice, spacious shower. But like I said, all the rooms are not like this because the other room that we were in was super small. So if you stay here, make sure to request the larger room in the front of the building. But anyways, let's go. <laughs> These things always scare me. Not too cold out. There was a bagel place that I pointed out last night. Did you see it? It's called Chelsea Bagel. Okay, we just had just had a bagel at Chelsea Tudor Bagels. Now we're gonna walk and head south because we're kind of staying what's the neighborhood that we're staying in it's not upper east side it's like the whole section below it so we're going to walk south towards the restaurant that we're going to meet jenna at because that's at 12 and it's 10. we're at midtown east technically midtown east kind of, kind of. Um, so we're gonna just walk down we don't have any like strict plans except for one dinner reservation tonight so it's really nice because we're just gonna like play it by ear I'm not wasting any dreams this Christmas I've made my wish upon that star The only dream of which my list consists is always be wherever you are this year there will be no praying for the snow to fall it would not make a difference okay we're at this little park we're just waiting for 12 o'clock then we're gonna go get lunch it's literally perfect outside. It's like 45 degrees and it's not that cold, which I was worried about. I love it. 
We're having such a good time already, just walking around. It's always a good time in New York. Yeah, so nice. Let's sit down. No, let's sit in the sun. In the sun. Okay, let's go over there then. Where? Over there. There's like a school right there yep. with kids running oh, around. What? I'm mad at AJ. You got me sick. <gasps> That's the first fly I've seen. What? The first mosquito I've seen. Mosquito? Fly? Which one was it? A fly or a mosquito, I don't know. What do you mean? I haven't. The garbage all along the street? So many flies. Mm -hmm. These are surprisingly comfortable, you guys. How many miles did we walk? Like two. Two? <laughs> That's a lot for these, and they're pretty comfortable. And I have high arches. Do something interesting. Look who I found! Vlogging, <laughs> I wasn't sure if you're vlogging. <laughs> seven eggs. Seven eggs. Whoa! This is one of Jenna's favorite restaurants, right? It's well, I've only been once, but it like made top tier list. Which is how you know it's good. So, stay tuned. <laughs> I wear shorts everywhere. I wear shorts to Washington DC. Honestly, Washington DC was significantly colder. It was. It was so windy. It was so windy. These guys came. Jenna got the shrimp pad thai. I got the beef pad siu. And AJ got the. <laughs> is it spicy? <laughs> I'm gonna clear my sinuses. Oh, good. It's silly. Crab fried rice. That is spicy. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's good. Yeah. Right? It's amazing. Okay, we are at Bryant Park. This is where all the Christmas stuff is. <laughs> I found the warm space. to dinner at Aquavit. It was a two-star Michelin restaurant and it was so amazing. I'll do a little voiceover with the meals that we got. I'll insert that right here. So the first little bite we have here isn't on the official menu. They just brought it out courtesy of the chef. It was some kind of fish with caviar on top. And to be honest, I have no idea what the thing to the right was, but it was so good. To the upper left is their house fermented peach tea, which they brought out again, courtesy of the restaurant. I did order a chamomile tea, which is what you see on the upper right hand corner. We did the chef's five course tasting menu. So the first bite here is yellowtail and pear. That's the extent of the menu description that they gave us. This was so good. I'm usually not a raw fish girl, but this was amazing. And the portion sizes were actually pretty large to the point where we were full at the end of the night. Item number two, we have scallop and chestnuts. What you see on top is a foam of chestnuts and all the scallops were underneath. This again was so good. I'm not a scallop girl, but I cleaned this plate. It wasn't fishy at all. The blend of the flavors that they have here is so amazing. Again, I wish I had more description on the menu, but all it says is scallop and chestnuts. So I can't describe the flavors further. The third item we have here is another fish dish. At this point, we were kind of tired of having fish after fish after fish. This 
this dish was my only criticism of this entire menu again just too much fish right after each other and this dish was a little bit too acidic for me so i ended up having a few bites and giving aj the rest of mine they also brought out their house made rye bread with their duck fat butter and this was really really tasty as well for the main course we have beef and black trumpet this was a 10 out of 10 for me it was actually wagyu we have an onion on the top with some kind of like prune or fig center so yummy and then on the right side we have potatoes so finely sliced and put together that you can't really tell but this was amazing there was some kind of like truffle flavor on the potato and the sauce in the middle was amazing it's just one of those things where you just can't imagine what it tastes like until you actually taste it this was my favorite dish of the night they call this dessert maple and almond this was like a cinnamony gingerbread cake with a little mousse on top and then that spoonful of sorbet was super sour and i love the compliments of the sour and the sweet you also have some maple sugar leaves some pear and some candied nuts this was amazing again the portion was actually very large to the point where i almost didn't want to finish the dessert so i'm very happy with the portion sizes sometimes with these restaurants you leave hungry that was not the case with aquavit so again we did the five course chef tasting menu overall i would rate it a nine out of ten the restaurant was beautiful the staff was amazing and i would highly recommend if you're looking for a fancy place to have dinner but i forgot to show you my outfit before we left because i was in such a rush so i want to show you now we just got back our reservation was at 5 30 so it's only like 7 45 right now which is really nice because i like to be asleep by nine o'clock you guys know so my sweater is from lulu's i actually wore this to new york last year and then this scarf from old navy my halara athletic skirt these amazon tights that are fleece lined but they look like they're sheer these are so amazing for cold weather i'll link them and then my leather boots i think these are steve madden but this was the look tonight and then i have my leather puffer from old navy so this was the vibe for tonight it was so cute i got some cute pictures aj really took some good pictures tonight i'm very very happy with him <laughs> drink some water but i'm feeling okay i'm still feeling sick like my throat hurts a lot but i've just been taking dayquil and that's been helping a lot i didn't have like a leather skirt or like an official nice skirt so the halara skirt is doing magic so i'm going to shower i don't think i'm going to wash my hair although my hair has not stayed as much as i had anticipated in the colder weather but it's actually been so warm it's been in the 50s today to the point where I don't even need jackets or anything so that's been really nice because we kind of get cooler weather but not freezing like last year if you watched my christmas in new york video last year it was so cold we still have pizza left left over from last night i don't think we're gonna eat this at this point but such a fun day so i really liked the chill vibe of this trip we just like walked around with jenna had lunch at this really really good place called soother so good amazing if you like thai food you have to go there just make sure to get there if you don't have a reservation make sure to get there at like 11 45 to be the first on the wait list and then you'll get a table that's what we did a little bit more about the restaurant that we went to everything was amazing um aj and i are gonna make it our bucket list to go to as many michelin star restaurants as we can and just like that's gonna be like our thing so we went to the last one we went to was stubborn seed we did that in miami for our anniversary and then the only other place we've been to was actually here in new york last year it was gramercy tavern but we don't really think that one is worth the hype so definitely go to aquavit if you're looking for like a bougie fancy place to go such a fun experience we did the five course tasting menu like i said and they gave us a little gift oh my gosh they gave us a little gift bag they gave us so many little extra stuff in between courses like little bites and things that weren't even on the official menu so they gave us two things of sea salt to take home and they're like big sea salt flakes which is so cute not aj flushing the toilet 
and then they gave us printouts of the menu that we had which is super cute so highly 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 recommend that there was also a option for the eight course chef's tasting menu we didn't opt for that it was an additional hundred dollars per person so we just did the five course and it was great it satisfied us we were full and it was amazing the next morning i woke up even more sick to the point where i didn't get out of bed until like 11 a.m so the first thing we did was stand in line at john's of bleaker street this is a pizza place we've always wanted to try because it's been so hyped up i personally really enjoyed it i would rate it like an eight and a half out of ten but aj was a little bit disappointed i think his expectations were a little bit high and we agreed that miami slice is actually better than john's of bleaker street we spent the rest of the afternoon shopping in soho and just enjoying the beautiful weather walking around and then we had some smash burger with brussels sprouts for dinner i was just craving these brussels sprouts they are so good <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you can add, add that video. I'm going to the of that. Huh? Mm -hmm. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. No. I am not giving your favorite kiss. Alright. Okay, let's go. Hey!